Okay, this is just a brief um, video to show you the configuration of Shotcut Video Editor. It's an open source tool, or it's a free tool, that's quite, um, quite good at uh, editing video. So the first thing you do is you simply drag and drop your video, just drag and drop it from your location into Shotcut, so open Shotcut. And then from there, you're going to drag it in here. Then the first thing you're going to do is you're going to play the video, so press the space bar to play. You can drag this around here to edit where you're going. You can press control and then use the mic, press the control on the keyboard and then use the wheel to zoom in and out. I like to have the whole thing in um, the one page, so, so to speak. So then when you, if you want to cut parts of it, simply go to the location where you want to cut and press the cut split, then either delete the the cuttings before the split or after the split depending on what you want to do then have the actual um, the video highlighted there in red in the timeline press filters and then you can press plus and then from there you can add in your um, fade in video fade out audio etc etc um, so if I go back to that again there now do I have some uh, yeah, so that's, let's just jump back out there, jump back in. Um, yeah, that's basically it. The gain is if you want to increase the volume. Um, so you just go in here and change the volume if you want to change the volume. Uh, so if I click here, now there we are. It's fading in audio after one second. And you can change these as well in here. So once you've done that, then you've done your editing, you've faded out, you've you're happy with exporting. You press export. And the configuration that I have is for the best quality, in my opinion. Again, things may change as time progresses. H264 high profile. And I change the actual, uh, let's see. So let's just go in there and see what way that is. Um, so if I um, H, so that's that one. So I have it as H two six four high profile resolution as is 1920, 1080, 169, 25 broadcast limited. So scan mode is progressive. Yeah, I leave color range broadcast limited and peg. Uh, Deinterlacer, I have it as that. Yadif and um, interpolation bilinear, good. Then I click on parallel processing, and then from there I go into the codec, and I'm going to set this to 99%. Now previously I had it at 100%, but that was with a previous version of Shortcut, and it no longer seems to work. But if I send it, set it at 99. Um, I set the, well, that's 125 frames, but I, I changed that to 13. But if you want to leave it at 125 and experiment, that's up to you. These are the pre-configuration changes. Um, now, in order to get onto that, you need to press advanced. Uh, sometimes it doesn't pop up when you press export. Um, and then in terms of the audio, again, I leave that at default. And um, I just press export profile, export file, sorry. Choose the location. Um, let's just see if save it there to the desktop for the moment. And then if we go over here, it's not very intuitive, but you'll see here in the jobs, it takes a few seconds to power up and it'll soon tell you if it's going to fail or not. I'm just going to give this a few seconds here. I can hear the processor running in the background, so something is happening. And um, now I've just pressed stop on that, so I am pressing it again. And as you can see, it's working away there. It's 1%, probably take a bit of time. So that is basically it, and thank you for watching.